trying to scoop over. He's all wrapped up. Yep, you're gonna get him now. There yep. you go. Yep, pickle, pickle, pickle. get him. Grab him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two things are happening today. One of them being that uh, it's a training session for the for the cadets, the, our, our new cadets, to get experience handling and experience uh, looking for snakes and knowing knowing how to find them, um, if they, they need to do programs with them, or um, just to learn more about them. And, and they've gone through the classwork, and so this is like kind of the, the capstone. And then secondly for us, it's, it's a long-term monitoring site. We've been monitoring this site uh, in Clearfield County for 20 plus years. And we're, we're uh, been monitoring the timber rattlesnake population. Nobody's gonna get bit, okay? <laughs> no. This is the rule. Don't put your hands, your feet, or your ass anywhere your eyes haven't been to first. All right, and then you won't get bit. You've got those expandable snake hooks and the tongs. Try not to use the tongs if possible because they just piss the snakes off, okay? You may get into situations where you have to use them. Try to use the hook first as much as possible so you don't get them all riled up, okay? Those uh, items are 40 inches long. 40 inches will take you out of the strike range of any of the snakes we're gonna run into out here because they can only strike accurately a third their body length. Subcuddle count. We're gonna, we're gonna count subcuddles to every snake that sex it, right? You're gonna check for a pit tag, right? So pit tag number if there's a pit tag. If there isn't a pit tag, you're gonna insert one and you're gonna add a number to that that snake. Um, if it's gravid or non-gravid for a female, and as an experienced person can palpate it and let you know if it's gravid or not, if it's a female. You gotta put it down more Yeah, try to get it as horizontal as you can. They're going to go up, but if you get it real flat. Then I just kind of get her like real low, you don't want to drop her. Oh, ladies. If you live in Pennsylvania, you may encounter these guys. You have to look for them, they're not everywhere. Um, but you should be wary of them. It's one of those things, if you see a snake, give it, give it its respect, give it its distance. You're not under any threat. They're pretty docile animals. People don't get that, but they really are docile animals. And when, when you encounter them, they just want to get away from you. They just want to go, hey, I wanted to go do my thing, get away from me. I want to go bask in the sun. <laughs> don't mess with me. So we ask people not to, to play with them. They can be dangerous if they bite you. Um, so we want, we want to avoid that at all costs.